bad news, Juro. Amiguchi's gone missing again. Eddie's at the cafeteria. Get ready to head over. Are you thinking of crashing this, this place again? again? Why not? Oh, yeah, almost forgot. I never finished reading it. That movie's a hidden gem. It's tough to get a hold of these days. Okay, it's not the one you were looking for, but... <laughs> I found a little something else you've been wanting to see. You know, that hardcore foreign movie? Don't make it sound so creepy. It's just a sci-fi flick. I also take the next episode of that drama series. The one where the alien runs away to Earth. Hmm. Is that the one where he teleports Here from the UFO can. to the bridge? Uh, oh, you've seen it already? Shall we go home together? I don't really Sorry, remember watching it, but... You I don't know. Maybe I did. Sorry, Neil. She always seems to be sleeping. I gotta get going. It's odd. And then she shows up in my dreams. I should head out. I can't help but be a little Later. curious about her. Later. Bye. Hey, about Fuyasaka-san. I notice she always I leaves during break time. time. And what about it? I'm just wondering where she goes all the time. Judging from what the other girls have been saying. She runs off to the nurse's office to take a nap. She's sleeping? What? You want to follow her to bed? Uh, come on, quit it. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but... He's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. We can't go to his place every single day. What if we're annoying him? Then let him be annoyed. I still get to play his games. In that movie, an alien's UFO breaks down. So he runs away to take refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. While I was taping that show, I remembered something else. I totally forgot last week. They were airing UFO Wars on TV. I can't believe I missed it. Released in 1977, oh. this was the first in a hit series from the United States. It's a dramatic sci-fi adventure taking place in a galaxy far, far away. Its popularity holds strong no matter how much time passes. I actually taped UFO Wars myself. Wanna borrow it? Oh, I'm in luck! The quality's not that great, though. I recorded it in EP mode. Jeez, get your hands on some better tapes. Is that this week's issue? Yep. Last week was a real cliffhanger. <laughs> I'm dying to know what happens. Well then. Allow me to explain. After all hell breaks loose, the main character just... Stop right there. One more word, and you're going on my shit list. <laughs> Didn't you want to go to Amiguchi-kun's house? Whoops. This is no time to be reading comics, huh? Let's head to the cafeteria. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. Don't forget your bag. Oh, I forgot I had a flyer in there. One for the Daimos movie. A sci-fi movie from 1954. Heavy on the special effects. The first in what will become a long-running series. Remember the original Daimos movie I mentioned? Mighty Kaiju Daimos? They're showing it at the theater right now! Wanna go see it? Isn't that the crappy old theater by Tsuji Station? I'd rather rent it on video. Then we can watch it on Amiguchi's big TV! 
cheaper too. Not here either, huh? Well, crap. So much for gaming today. Think the girls might know where he is? Maybe they've seen him somewhere. I know you were eavesdropping earlier. You know, Kisaragi and the others. Did they mention him? Uh, I don't know. Guess we're out of options. Let's just go home. Hi, Minami-san. Uh... What's up? Well, uh... You know, about that guy. I'm just wondering how long he's planning to stay over. Ah, right. About that. Um... He's got a lot going on, you know? If you could let him stay a bit longer... I'd appreciate it. You're the best. Oh, would you look at the time? I've gotta go. Let's talk later, okay? Who's that chick? Minami-san, my neighbor. My grandma's pretty close with her family. You're looking pretty close yourself. What are you trying to <laughs> imply? This is a serious issue at home. I was supposed to have this free time to myself. Ah, so much for that. Ever since that day, my life's been turned upside down. I fell asleep. Mmm. Smells good. Oh, you're up. Dinner's almost ready. Could you get the chopsticks? I fell asleep with the TV on. Place them at the table. She probably didn't realize it, but these are matching chopsticks, like for a married couple. <sighs> that only makes me feel even more awkward. There we go. <laughs> it's like we're newlyweds or something. Okay, no. I'm not following that train of thought. I need to come up with a way to kick her out. Dinner's ready. Shall we start? You have bags under your eyes. It's because you stay up late watching movies every night. You need to get to bed early. We're the same age. Stop acting like you're my mom. Besides, I can't fall asleep, even if I wanted to. Oh? Why not? Well, because... <laughs> you're here. Me? Have I done something wrong? Come on. We're a boy and a girl... alone together? Puberty exists! <sighs> Are you trying to torture me? Hey, um, uh, we really shouldn't be living together like this. 
Are you afraid of someone finding out? Well, that's part of it. Anyway, I want you out of here by next month. If you say so. Someone's here. Hide. Jeez. Jiro-kun, are you home? Minami-san. Couldn't you have knocked first? Come on, your Granny Tamao and I are best buds. We're neighbors. Think I don't know my way around the place? Anyway, I've got a favor to ask. Oh my god, Jiro-kun! I didn't know you cooked. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what's this favor you need? The favor is... Oh, Minami-san. I didn't know you lived so close. Did you really need to come out? You're Yakushiti-san, our classmate? Wait, no way. Are you two... Do you need something from him? It's not what it looks like. This is just... You know... Natsuno-san? Oh, come on in! Pardon my interruption. <sighs> so this house is still standing. Who are you? My name is Keitaro Miura. So, um, it's kinda complicated, but yeah. I need you to let him stay over for a few days. What? I understand you're Tamao-san's grandson? How do you know Minami-san? Come on, I know you have a spare room. Just let him stay until your granny's back. In exchange, I won't tell anyone you're living with a girl. <laughs> That's not... The details don't matter. Just let him stay, all right? Thanks, see ya! Pardon me. I know Natsuno-san's intentions are good, but... Are you hungry? Why don't you join us for dinner? <sighs> there goes my simple high school life. Things just keep getting weirder and weirder. Yeah. Bad news, Juro. Let me guess. Amiguchi-kun's not there. He's probably at the cafeteria. Thanks for making my life it's easier, man. Cool. Let's grab our stuff and head over. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. I never finished reading this. Usami-chan, you've been acting strange Patience, Juro. Are you I'll let okay? you borrow it when I'm done. You seem kind of stressed out. <laughs> but you're just fine, right? Hey! I'm worried about you. Iyuri-chan! Oops. <laughs> Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. You too? Sorry, Miwa-chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. But first, I'll take a peek at Amiguchi-kun. Okay, that's a little creepy. If you're looking for him, I just saw him by the vending machines. The break area? Yeah. Crap. I gotta get going. There are drink vending machines at the break area. It's located at the corner of the schoolyard. If what Fuyusaka-san said was right, we should be able to find Amiguchi-kun there. I guess hey, it's about that time. I think I know where Amiguchi-kun is. 
He's probably outside at the break area. Huh? You mean that place with the vending machines? Let's check it out. We've got to get to the break area. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. Kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Amiguchi Kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Shiro, you'll be home for dinner, right? I'll cook something for you. Hey, watch what you're saying. We're still at school. And Shibakun's here. Shibakun's really getting in the way here. I should make him check the classroom for Amiguchi-kun again. That'll get him off my back. Hey, Shibakun. I know we couldn't find Amiguchi-kun earlier, but what if he went back to his classroom? Maybe you should go check one more time. Hmm, good point. You never know what that guy's up to. I'll take a look. Well, that changed nothing. I still wasn't there. Amiguchi-kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. amiguchi -kun, he's smart. On top of that, he's got... We've got to get to the break area. If we're too slow, we'll lose him. You'll be home for dinner, right? I'll cook something for you. Hey, watch what you're saying. We're still at school. <gasps> and Shibakun's here. It's too hard to talk. Shibakun's real. I should make him check the class. That'll get. Hey, Shibakun. For tonight, I'm thinking Hamburg steak. Your favorite. <laughs> Knock it off. If people find out we're living together, we'll be expelled from school. Hmm, is that so? I don't mind. Well, I do mind. So please. Sorry, sorry. It's our secret, I know. I'll be a little more discreet. <sighs> It feels awkward going home like this. I'm gonna be restless all night. We're just teenagers. We can't be living together already. <sighs> what is she thinking? Just showing up at my place and treating me like this? That's strange. The front door was unlocked. I hope there wasn't a break-in. Huh? You're... You're from my school, right? I think we're in the same... <gasps> it's been 40 years. I've missed your touch. What? Hold on, back up. What are you doing in my house? 
I'll be renting a room starting today. My name is Megumi Yakushiji. Hello there. You're joking, right? I spoke with your landlord, Tamao Karabe. She gave me this rental agreement. My grandma? I've already moved in my furniture. Jeez. I mean, yeah, there was an empty room. And she said she was planning to rent it out, but... I didn't expect it to be a girl from school. <sighs> what were you thinking, Grandma? <sighs> There's no way. I can't do this. Grandma's going to be out this whole month. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That means it's just the two of us here. If the school finds out, we're going to be expelled. Well, that wouldn't be so bad. What? Anyway, I need to get started on dinner. As thanks for letting me stay with you, I'll be taking care of your meals. I hope you like it. Hey, wait! Hey, Juro. Huh? Oh, Shibakun. Uh, hello. Earth to Juro. That girl. She always stands a little too close to me. It's awkward. I get really self-conscious all the time. How am I supposed to interact with her? So, I couldn't find Amiguchi. He must have gone home already. I see. Let's just call it a day and head home. Want to stop by the video store? Sure. Yakushiji. I've gotten permission from Morimura. I see. What's going on here? Shh. Even if that's the case, it isn't looking good. There's an issue with Juro's condition. We can't let it continue as is. You still plan on using him, don't you? You can't. I won't let you. Please, let him be free of the Sentinel. As of now, he's the only one who can fight. I can't promise anything. <laughs> I recognize the position you're in. You harbor feelings for him, correct? But you must understand that he is no longer the Izumi you knew. Izumi? He is Juro Karabe. You would do well to consider him an entirely different person. The new personality is not stable. Don't disregard the danger this may put you in. Juro will recover. I'll make sure of it. Even if we erase the personality of Juro Kurabe... What? It would be a futile effort, as I've already explained. Izumi's memory is gone. There is nothing left. You're a difficult one. Izumi. Oh. Haven't I heard that name before? For your own good. I think Shinonomi Senpai called me that. I cannot. Oh, and I saw it at the nurse's office you too. You must return to Shikishima. There was a document labeled Juro Izumi. And what if I say no? Izumi. Haven't I heard? I think Shinonomi one. Senpai called me that. Oh, and I saw it at the good. nurse's office too. There was a document labeled Juro Izumi. You must... <laughs> Karabe. Uh, Juro. How long have you been listening? <sighs> what was that about? Who 
Who is Izumi? Uh, I'll cook one of your favorite meals tonight. So please, come right home, okay? No eating out. <sighs> I'm a different person? Juro... Izumi? <laughs> That's ridiculous. And yet... Why do I have this sinking feeling? It's like... The one Yakushiji has feelings for isn't me. It's... Izumi. Bad news, Juro. Let me guess. Amiguchi-kun's not there. He's probably at the cafeteria. Thanks for making my life That's easier, man. Time. Cool. Let's grab our stuff and head over. Would you like to get oh, crepes yeah, on our way home? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I'd love to, but I've kind of got somewhere to I never finished be. reading this. Mm, okay. Patience, Juro. I'll let you borrow it when I'm done. Usami-chan, you've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem kind of... stressed out. But you're just fine, right? Hey, I'm worried about you. Huh? Iyori-chan! Oops. <laughs> Shall we go home together? Sorry, I have plans. You too? Sorry, Miwa-chan. It's okay. I'll go home by myself. But first, <laughs> I'll take a peek at Amiguchi-kun. Okay, that's a little creepy. If you're looking for him, I just saw him by the vending machines. The break area? Yeah. Crap. I gotta get going. I should head out too. See you, Miwa-chan. Later. Bye. I guess it's about that time. Something up? You're staring. Well, maybe not here. Let's go out to the hall. <laughs> Fuyusaka's avoiding you. Did you look up her skirt or something? No. What kind of kai do you think I am? I'm just saying. It is weird, though. I wonder why she's acting that way. Kun's not the most responsible guy, but he's smart, athletic, and popular with the ladies. On top of that, his family is rich. He's got all the latest video game consoles in his room. Well, this is awkward. If I go talk to her, Shiba-kun will never let me hear the end of it. Shiba-kun's really getting in the way here. I should make him check the classroom for Amiguchi-kun again. That'll get him off my back. Hey, Shiba-kun. I know we couldn't find Amiguchi-kun earlier. But what if he went back to his classroom? Maybe you should go check one more time. Hmm, good point. You never know what that guy's up to. I'll take a look. What's going on, Fuyusaka-san? Well, um... You know that dream you were telling me about? The truth is... It's... Real. It actually happened. What do you mean?
What was that dream about again? Uh, you don't remember? You just mentioned it again last week. You know, the one about the shootout? Shootout? Something about taking refuge in a harbor. But you ended up getting shot and captured. I was the only one who managed to escape. Oh, yeah. In order to prevent killer robots from being invented, a factory got blown up, right? You remember now? I didn't know you were into action movies. That's the plot of Exterminator 2, right? <laughs> I almost forgot. So you don't remember after all? Of course I do. That movie is a masterpiece. I'm not talking about a movie. This is something that actually happened. And it wasn't just a dream either. Mm. What about this one? Is it real too? If the Daimo showed up in real life? I don't know. I think it'd be pretty awesome. Well, lucky you. You'll be seeing plenty of them soon. Huh? Daimos is the general name for them. But there are many different types. Some as big as a truck. Some bigger than a whole building. That series is really cool. It featured all kinds of different kaiju. If you love movies that much, you should check out this drama series. What's it about? It's an episodic show where the story plays out in different ways each time. In this one, an alien seeks refuge on Earth. There's a famous scene where he teleports onto a bridge. You've never seen it before? That was a real event. It took place on Sumire Bridge in the year 2089. Now that you mention it, that scene did look like it was shot at Sumire Bridge. I was the only one there. You never made it, Kurabe-kun. No, that's not true. I was there. You and I were transmitted together. Wait, what? Does that mean UFO Wars is real too? There is a UFO. It's beneath us. Oh. No way. It's just like the movie, isn't it? We're going to ride that UFO and fight off enemies. No. That's what the Sentinels are for. Sentinels? Giant robots. They were created to defeat the Kaiju. <sighs> You're so interesting, Fuyusaka-san. Don't you already know all this? You're the one who told me about it. Remember when we were cleaning up the science room? You said you saw a shootout from the future in your dreams. Cleaning up the science room? Now that I think about it... I've handed you the key. Be sure not to misplace it. Renya Goto, second year. Popular with all the ladies. <laughs> the snob. When you're done cleaning, be sure to lock up. Then return the key to Miss Morimura. Understood? Yes. Goto Senpai is so me. mature. Sorry for the trouble. It's hard to believe he's just a high schooler like me. Okay, there's not much left to do. Let's get this over with. I'll wash the equipment over there. Could you put the beakers back on the shelf? I'm hungry, man. Cleaning duty sucks ass. Sheba Kuhn. Stop complaining and get to work. Did you say something? You were mumbling. Speak clearly, please. Just... It's Saturday. 
Kind of sucks to be doing cleaning duty. Rules are rules. Just deal with it, okay? Goto-senpai is so mature. It's hard to believe he's just a high schooler like me. Isn't Goto-senpai responsible? No wonder he's so popular. Cleaning is just so boring. Where should I put this? Beakers go in the big cabinet in the back. Guess it goes in here. This one too. That's all of them. Sweeping up. What is it? Huh. What's gotten into you? Is there something on my face? Uh, sorry. I was just thinking about the woman from my dream last night. I think it was you, Fuyusaka-san. Me? In your dream? You were dressed in all black. Strong, commanding, and honestly, pretty attractive. <laughs> You're just talking about the dream, right? What happened in it? It's kind of embarrassing to talk about. The apocalypse was coming. To prevent it, we had to go back in time and blow up some sort of facility. But that got us in some trouble. Thanks to the bombing, the cops came after us. It came down to a shootout, and the two of us got separated. Oh, so I was a criminal. Well, kind of. It was a just cause. Uh-huh. Well, that does sound exciting. I'm curious to hear how it ends. Oh, yeah? I can keep going. Were you shot? Show me. It's nothing. I had a misstep, too. I failed to kill one of the researchers. The deed is done, though. The entire facility's been destroyed. We did good. The Interstellar Development Project was sent back to square one. Do you think we've changed the future? Sure hope so. If not, then we'll have killed all those innocents for nothing. I'd like to believe they haven't died in vain. <laughs> A patrol boat. They're onto us. I'll handle this. You go on ahead. This wasn't part of the plan. 
I can barely walk. So what? You want me to abandon you here? You just need to make it through today. Remember?
legs like they're super cramped. It's not just me, right? All I can think about is how weird it is to see you in a robot, Usami-chan. I mean, I heard about the kind of dreams you've been having. It's super weird to me, too. But I kind of figured you might be involved in all this, too, Iori. At any rate, that would be the mech's nerve connection. The pain is because your nerves aren't used to it yet. More time in the pilot's seat will help condition your body. Eventually, you won't even notice it anymore. Well, a force of 13 Sentinels makes a formidable team, even accounting for the pilot's inexperience. But the assaults are gonna be a lot worse than the one on Sector 3. You're kidding. It'll be even worse than the attack on my city? Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. They're here. Eyes up, everyone.
that simple, we wouldn't be struggling. The Aegis can't activate unless they get close enough to the terminal. They're after the mainframe and the UFO underground. Their goal is to slip into terminals stationed in various positions across the UFO. If they seize control of the mainframe, our world is as good as gone. Our current situation demands a defensive approach. To keep the terminals safe, we have to rely on the Aegis. So what? The best we can hope for is to keep this one thing safe? Makes it sound like we're getting the shit kicked out of us. It's true. All we can hope for is to protect it to the end. We did it! Thank you.